more bugs from our bug book. So this is chapter eight, bugs, not insects. So these are bugs because they don't have six legs. So let's see what it says. It says some of the animals people call bugs are not insects. This chapter is about spiders and other non-insects. This is a jumping spider. So what do you think it does? That's right, it jumps. It's a jumping spider. And we have these in Georgia. They're kind of small and they move very fast. So if you guys find one in your garden, be sure to share it with us. Let's see what's next. The orb weave spider. The orb, weaves, the orb weaver spins a web to trap insects. They live near open fields and tall vegetation, which means grasses and trees, on houses in much of North America. They eat other bugs and insects. They lay 300 to 1400 eggs at a time. So either three 100 squares or one 1000 cube and four 100 squares at a time. That's a lot. They have to watch out for wasps, birds, and lizards that might eat them. And you can see that they're about as big as your hand. The orb weaver spider builds its web from two to eight feet off the ground. So anywhere from about as tall as you guys to as tall as mommy and daddy, even taller, they build their webs around that height. Spiders have two main body parts. Insects have three main body parts. No spiders have wings. Spiders are arachnids. They have eight legs and insects only have six, remember? Spiders are called orb weavers are one group you can easily find and watch. Just look for their spider webs and their big yellow spots. The orb weavers spin their webs in many places between trees or other plants in the corner of a porch or on a fence. The web is made of silk that the spider makes inside of its body and the web traps the insects that it wants to eat. This spider does not hurt people. So it's actually a very big helper spider. So if you see this one, you wanna leave it. You could name it maybe. Maybe even if you find dead bugs, you can bring them up and put them in the web. Their first part that looks kind of like their head is called a very long name. Let's see if we can say it together. Cephalothorax. Can we say it slowly? Cephalothorax. And that's what looks like their top head part that has their four front legs coming out. And then this big bottom part that looks like their butt is called the abdomen. The abdomen of the spider. So with the big yellow spots on it, that's the abdomen. Even if you can't see it, there's almost always a spider nearby. There are at least 35,000 species of spiders. That means 35,000 cubes. Here are just a few. A wolf spider is this one right here that looks like it's hiding. And it says, it does not make a web. It waits at the opening to its burrow and pounces on insects that crawl by. So it's kind of like the trap door spider, except it doesn't have a door. It lives in like a little cave. And then it waits for something to walk by and it snatches it. Then this one down here that's climbing up a tree, it's the world's largest spider. It's the Goliath bird-eating tarantula. It eats mice and other small animals. So imagine how big it is. Then this red one next to the one that looked like it was hiding in its cave is a spider in the book Charlotte's Web. It is a barn spider. So where do you think it lives? That's right, in a barn. The one beneath it that's kind of smaller, that has red and yellow on it, this is the golden silk orb, orb weaver spider. And it's kind of that golden yellow color. So then we have this orange one that's next to it. It kind of looks like one of the marigolds it's mixed in with. And it's called a golden rod crab spider. Why do you think it's called a crab spider? Yeah, it, its legs kind of look like a crab, the way that it, it holds them. I know you guys recognize this rainbow spider. We've talked about them before, and we've danced like them before. This is the male peacock spider, a kind of jumping spider, and it does a dance to attract a girl. <gasps> Whoa. 
This is an Arizona bark scorpion. It says a mother scorpion carries her newborn babies on her back. A scorpion can live about six years. Arizona bark scorpions hide in shaded areas during the day and hunt at night. So they're nocturnal. And you can see this picture up here has all the babies on top of its back. They live in deserts in the southwest United States and northern Mexico. They eat crickets and other insects. They lay up to 35 babies at a time. So I can't see 35 babies on that scorpion's back, but they probably have about that many on there. And it says that they have to watch out for spiders, snakes, mice, and wild pigs that might eat them. And it looks like they're about as big as your hand. Arizona bark scorpions do not hatch from eggs as babies are born. Their mother guides them up onto her back. And then she carries them for about three weeks. So she carries all 35 of those babies for three weeks. Can you imagine carrying that many babies for that long? A scorpion has a stinger on the end of its tail. It uses it to sting its prey, such as a cricket. The venom that comes out of it, a sort of poison, flows from the scorpion into the insect so that it can eat it. The venom kills the cricket and turns, it insi turns its insides into liquid, like juice or water. Then the scorpion sucks it up like a juice pouch. Scorpions are arachnids. Can you say arachnids? They are close relatives of spiders. 